Right, you guys got another video here for you on how to delete undeletable files or folders in Windows 11. You can also use this method on Windows 10 as well, but we're on Windows 11 today, so that's what we're going to be covering. So first off, I have a folder here that when I try to delete it and I click continue, you'll see here it says you need to provide administrator privileges or permission to delete this folder. It won't allow me to delete it. And if I right click again, and we take a look at the actual file itself, show more information and go to where it says delete and click on it. You can see here, you'll need to provide administration permissions to delete this folder. It won't let me delete it. So let me show you how you can go about deleting files or folders in this manner. So first off, let's go to this website here. It's called Lock Hunter. There is a program that you can use to unlock and delete these files for you. So let me go ahead and download and install that on the system. But Lock Hunter is basically uh, going to take care of all of the hard work for you. It will show the processes that are locking that file or folder. It will give you detailed information on the process. Also allows you to unlock, delete or copy or rename a locked file. It can delete a file at the next operating system restart and that's probably the most common way of removing these it allows you to kill locked processes and it also allows you to remove locking processes from hard drives it can unload dll's from processes and loads more there's another program called unlock it and uh, this was called delete on reboot uh, many years ago i think but it is quite a good tool as well and you can use that they're both free and they both work pretty well. And we'll take a look at both of them in this video so you can see basically how you can use something like this to remove files or folders from your system if you can't delete them and it stops you from having to go in and change all the permissions. So let's go ahead and get this installed. We'll try the Lock Hunter first. It's gonna go ahead and just install this here. So let's go ahead and install it onto the computer. That's now done, click Finish. And we can now open this up. So what we're going to do here is when we right click on the file, you should see what's locking this folder. We can click on this one now, click yes, and it will give you a box that's popping up here. So you can see it's telling us what's locking this actual uh, file or folder here. And you've got unlock it and you've got delete it as well. So this is the actual path right here. And this is the one that's actually stopping us from removing it. So what we can do here is I can literally highlight this one and you can either click on unlock it or you can click on delete it. I'm gonna click on delete it because I want to delete it and it's gonna close all open files on display and it will then basically delete it. And it says no process locking this file or folder has been found. You can now click on delete it if you want to. Again, you can see cannot delete these files or folders. Delete at next system restart. So basically it can't delete it right now, but when I click on this and restart the system, it will delete it during the boot up process. That's the way a lot of these programs will delete files or folders that can't be deleted. Let's quickly take a look at the unlock it as well. I've used this many times before, very simple way of removing hard to delete uh, files or folders. So I'm gonna do a complete install here of the program. Again, much the same as Lock Hunter, but we'll go ahead and open the actual application here. And here we can see the same sort of layout, unlock and delete. And we do have an unlock area here. So let me go unlock folder and navigate to that folder that we want to delete on our desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and locate it. It can be located anywhere on your computer. Highlight it, click OK. It's now processing and you can see this might take a bit of time to so be patient, but hopefully once this is done, it's going to be uh, looking at the permissions that are locking this file and try to uh, make a change to it and unlock it. And you can see it's now saying it's unlocked, which now gives us permission to do what we want with it. So we can now highlight and delete this folder if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and now click delete and I'll locate that actual uh, folder here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, click OK, and it'll say, are you sure you want to delete this folder? I'm going to say yes. It's going to start processing. It's already been unlocked. And we should now be able to delete this folder from our desktop and from our computer. So we're just letting that process. And it should take a bit of time. It might freeze a little bit, but that's because it's trying to work at deleting the actual folder. 
If it can't do it, it will do it on the next restart. Sometimes it can do it at the desktop right now, and sometimes it needs to reboot and delete it on startup. You can see the folder has now been deleted, so I can now delete this by clicking on this one here, and then we can take a look at the actual um, desktop here to see whether it's been removed. That's all now done, and we can close the program off, and you can see the folder has now been deleted with all the contents inside. And that's basically how you can delete files or folders that are undeletable on Windows 11 or Windows 10. And it's pretty simple. You can use either of these programs and it should be able to do the job without any complicated commands or anything like that. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.